Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tip about starting new Angular 2 applications. This is Miligi from GuruStop.net which is a blog for uh, AngularJS, JavaScript, Node and ASP.NET developers and a newsletter as well. Um, I also run the NG Sydney user group for AngularJS developers in Sydney, NG Sydney. And today we're going to talk about Angular 2. Uh, I love Angular 2, we talk about it a lot in um, the user group and uh, I also like to play with it a lot, however when you go to the angular.io website and you go to the basic section you see the hello world example and also the template looks nice, the component looks nice. When you go to the index.html, the file that hosts everything you find uh, a bit of a weird thing, you find a lot of script tags which include chimps for ECMAScript 6 and polyfills for uh, Angular itself it includes running TypeScript in the browser it includes RxJS, uh, a library that Angular depends on a whole lot um, of stuff mostly handled by this uh, module loader called SystemJS which you also need to um, configure here to tell it uh, what to load from where and how and all this sort of stuff. And when I look at all of this, it's, it's just too much stuff that I hate to have to come and copy every time. I just want to play with the syntax of components in, uh, in Angular 2. And uh, I also would just never try to write from memory because I definitely wouldn't remember all of that. So it turns out now that we are on the Angular.io website, there is a very, very, very easy way to start with the same syntax we have in here, which is um, this very nice try in blanker button. So when you go again to the Angular.io website and scroll down all the way to the first basics hello world example, and you just say try in blanker. What this will do is that it will open uh, a new blanker with an exact copy of the hello world example. That, you know, it's a simple hello world as you would expect in a hello world to work. And you get all the script tags ready for you with the very simple system JS configuration. Of course, all the scripts again are uh, up to date to Angular's version because you have got this from the main official uh, AngularJS website so it will be uh, up to date from the date that you pressed the button and brought the thing into um, Planker and now you can hack away by just changing the hello world component to what you want either starting by the template or changing the actual component and you can also just add new components so if you go here and add a new file and say app slash new thing dot ts we realized that uh, I had to add this app slash because that's the convention that the system.js configuration in this example is using and you can see main dot ts and hello world dot ts are also um, using the same thing if I want to try and simulate the same convention here, I'll go with new underscore thing, although this one is not really um, required. But what would be required is to use the .ts extension because this is a TypeScript file. After that, I can just go and take the whole hello world component file, paste it in here, change hello world to new thing, and of course the selector as well from hello world to new thing and then um, you can still create a template file for sake of simplicity here I'll just go ahead and use an inline template that says Hel hello from new component once I close this, I am um, almost done. The only thing that we need to do is to go to the file that has uh, bootstrapping, which is here the main.ts file, 
and instead of hello world again we say new thing because the bootstrap file or uh, main.ts is also in uh, in app folder so it says for the bus just dot which is it it means the current uh, folder and we'll say new underscore thing you realize when importing you don't specify the file extension and then we can go and replace in the bootstrap hello world with new thing however for the bootstrap to work we also need to go to the index.html file and edit the call to the hello world and this calls the hello world component by the selector which is having a hello dash world um, tag so we'll replace this with new thing and come here and say new thing and then when we run this again we should be able to still see the loading message followed by once the application is um, completely loaded the actual message I realize the loading has been taking for um, so long I'll, I'll see if there's an obvious mistake here new thing new thing in the main.ts we're saying import new thing from dot slash new underscore thing and uh, looks like this is case sensitive so uh, I'll go here and change this and try again so loading and yes now we we got the thing loading um, I could have edited the type of problem in there but I thought this could be something that would get you frustrated as well now um, this is the best way to just get started if you want to hack some um, component code together just to learn angular really or, or test a specific edge case or write a blog post this would be a very good place to um, just start coding directly but if you have uh, an actual project that you want to start or even just any uh, an example that you want to keep for your personal need but you're going to uh, make it a bit big or maybe even a bit project um, there are a few things that can get you started there is even the official um, angular cli however my own favorite is a project called angular 2 seed that is maintained by a guy called minku so if you just write minku angular 2 seed it will come as the first result here and once you click that there's a very nice project that gives you the skeleton of a good Angular 2 application and it handles everything for you with a very simple config I have seen a lot of scaffolding out there and they're all either like too simple that just doesn't work and you have to add a lot or too complex that you will never understand what's happening in there and you'll have to delete a lot so this one is, is a pretty good balance all you need to do is uh, clone their bolster into new folder maybe with uh, dash dash depth one to uh, um, ignore all the history in, in their bolster and start adding your own components similar to what we did in, in, in the blanker in here um, talking about the angular 2 seed would require I its own video in, a, in fact but uh, I just thought I'd give you a heads up of uh, what you choose if you are going for something more complex than just an in-browser demo because the uh, C project takes care again of um, all all your needs you know uh, minifying for production um, a bit of testing that you don't have to adhere to it has a lot of um, good stuff and there is even an advanced mode if you want to work with uh, um, um, ng2 store or anything more advanced than that and yep that's everything I wanted to share in this quick video if you have any questions for um, for me just um, talk to me on Twitter I'm Miligi on Twitter or you can just leave a comment on on my blog and yep that's it see you in the next video goodbye